Hey everyone, this is Matt. I'm here with Louise Hi. at Gamescom 2019. And if you haven't already guessed, she's been playing Borderlands 3. On the count of Ow! I'm on fire! And not the good way! So Louise, you've played a fair bit of Borderlands 3. Tell me what's new for the show. So we already know a fair bit about Borderlands 3. We know that we're leaving the Pandora system for the first time on a ship called the Sanctuary 3. We know there are literally billions of guns. Billions of guns, most of them with alternate fire modes. So one minute you're firing a bullet, the next minute you're firing missile launchers and you're doing all kinds of things. So we know that and we know we have four new Vault Hunters. Now we finally saw the last of the Vault Hunters, which is Flak the Beastmaster, which I was playing as earlier, which was really, really exciting. We have Amara the Siren, we have Zane the Operative, and we have Moe's the Gunner, who if you remember, I played at E3 and you climbed into the Iron Bear mech. So everything that's new for Gamescom 2019, obviously Borderlands is coming out next month. We've not got that long to wait. So basically Gearbox have revealed exactly what the end game is going to look like. So once you've got the billions of guns, you really need somewhere to use them, right? So they've revealed the Proving Grounds, which are end game content, which is these sort of 30 minute chunks that you can go in using sort of the split screen that you can go into, or you can go in co-op, or you can go in on your own. So basically it's these three sort of horde mode style arenas that you go through and you're on a time limit. So you've got to watch the clock. But what's also exciting that's there is you've got challenges. On the right hand side of the screen, there's a set of challenges that if you do each of those things within the time limit, within these arenas, you'll unlock even more loot. So it's constantly just, you got loot with your loot? Have some more loot. <laughs> but there's things like there's a fallen guardian that's kind of going around that you can find. There's all these hidden bits around these different arenas. There are six challenge arenas like this. And just jumping into it and the fact that you're not progressing through linear you know, environments or anything, you're just in these arenas killing stuff as fast as possible. It's a ridiculous amount of fun. So Louise, you've seen the end game, you've seen yeah. all the characters, you've played a fair bit of it. Are you getting a sense now of, of what this is going to be in the end game? Yeah, I mean, we really don't have long to wait. It's September the 13th it's coming out. And I love the fact that playing as Flak today kind of was the icing on the bullety cake in the way that the, there is a bullety cake, you just wouldn't want to eat it. It would really hurt your teeth, it wouldn't be nice. <laughs> but it was cool to play because you've got, um, you've got like beasts, you have pets. Um, I played with a dog-like creature called Chew. I don't know if he's officially a dog, but you can actually touch the pet. And That's if you do that, be the next yeah, you can pat the demonic, angry, angry dog, which is quite nice. You touch him and little hearts, little spiky <laughs> hearts come out of him, which is very nice. To be spiky. So what's really cool in Borderlands 3 is they all have action skills. All your vault hunters, you can personalize a lot more. I ended up with someone give me 26 skills that I could play with, which meant I got to really invest in all the pet skills, which meant that Chew would go out and he would do bonus damage. He would go into friends mode so the fact that you can bring that into it means that I know you're going to want to play as Flak. I was going to say that, don't get too flak. used to it. Dibs on Flak I'm afraid. There might be two Flaks in our <laughs> team in Borderlands but yeah it feels really cool seeing the end game seeing how it's going to play you know I just I can't wait to dive into it and fly on Sanctuary 3 apparently we don't ask answer what happened to Sanctuary 2 it's just the third one but yeah Borderlands 3 I'm really excited. Awesome. So there you go. If you've got any questions about Borderlands 3, please pop them in the comments below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more videos straight out of Gamescom 2019.